This is a Lexus LX470 and it's the very last of the series. This particular car is a 2005 MY06. Now what that means is it's got a number of upgrades. So in 2005 there was actually two different LX470s. The update, which is this car, an MY06, had LED tail lights, colour coded side steps, it's even got lights in here and it's got lights under underneath which look fantastic at night time. The other addition was the Mark Leveson sound system which was much better. This car's done 209,000 kilometres and it's in particularly good condition. We'll look at the driver's seat. I don't think you'll find one with the driver's seat that good. It's all original leather. The timber work is excellent. It's got two remote keys and uh, features include a reverse camera, navigation, Bluetooth. It's also got high range, low range, You've got adjustable suspension, you can put the suspension up and down by about a foot if you're going off-road or if you're going into a low car park. It's also got sport and comfort settings which is great. It soaks up the bumps nicely. It's got a centre diff lock. And it's also got what's called A-Track which is a four-wheel drive system which when you're off-road will basically put power to the wheel or wheels with grip. That's a fantastic system. This car is silver in colour, it's got Pirelli Scorpion tyres and probably the best thing about this car is its condition and its service history. If you see them online, these unfortunately are a car which you must look at. You can't, it's not a car you can buy into state or online. Because it's an eight seater family car, and it's 11 years old, you could have had a family of six, seven, or even a family of eight in and out of it for 11 years, and there can be a lot of wear and tear. This car, said, it is in particularly good condition. It's actually my wife's car. Um, the back seat has actually never been sat in. Um, when we purchased the car with about 150,000 Ks, it was um, from a dealer in Newcastle, and it was owned by an old couple and the back seats actually when the car was picked up were actually in, wrapped in plastic and were taken out of the car when it was brand new and, um, and were, never, were never used actually. I bought it from the original owner who had always serviced it at Lexus. This car has done a lot of freeway driving. I myself and my wife have driven, we don't have children um, yet and We've driven to Harvey Bay, Tasmania, Melbourne on numerous occasions, the snow, and I would actually say that in the 60,000 kilometres I've done in this car have mainly been on the freeway. It's very, very comfortable. In fact, it's probably one of the most comfortable cars you can take on a trip. In terms of fuel consumption, I can get the fuel consumption down to about 10.5 to 10.7 litres per 100 kilometres, which is very, very impressive. Around town it is going to go up 16 or 17, and if you've got a lead foot, it'll go up to 20. But what's good about these Lexuses is, although they do use a bit of fuel, they're absolutely reliable. Although you may spend a little bit on fuel, you're not spending money on things like air suspension, you know, breakdowns. Generally with these it's just fluids. Um, it does have a suspension system which is hydraulic. It's very reliable and I've never seen a problem with it. But for me fuel's not overly expensive. What's expensive is when you take it to get serviced and you get hit with a one, two, three, four, five, six or seven thousand dollar bill if it's a European four-wheel drive. 
All the headlights are in very good condition. It's never had a major accident. There are stone chips on the bonnet. It's probably one of the only things I'd say at this car. There's a few little chips on the front. Again, it's done a lot of freeway driving. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's also why it's done 209,000 kilometres and it's in the condition that it's in. And I'm sure if you go online, you'll find a car which is a little bit cheaper, but you need to check the condition and you need to look at the service history. Because these are so reliable, people drive them 20, 30, and I've seen one a few years ago where someone had driven the car 50,000 kilometres without servicing it. And, and the car was just a, a disaster. It's the only car I've had where I've never had to top up the oil. I'm just giving it a very quick wash, it hasn't been detailed. I keep all my cars in absolutely immaculate condition and well serviced. It had its 200,000 kilometre service completed at Lexus. It's had its timing belt done at 160,000 kilometres. And the other thing about this car is if you do 10,000 kilometres, the oil is still clean. The car's done 9,000 kilometres. Let's have a look. Okay. See the colour of that oil? That's after 9,000 kilometres. If you had a European car, you'd check the oil after 1,000 kilometres, it'd probably be black. You can see the headlights are very, very good. They've never been replaced. That battery is a pretty special battery. And I was going to get dual batteries, and they said, look, it's a waste of time. If you just get one of these batteries, it's the way to go. And from memory, it was about $800. It was very expensive. But I think if you're going to get an LX470, you may as well get the update with the better sound system and all the extras. It's also got the inbuilt roof, roof racks there. These tyres have been fantastic. They should have plenty of life left on them. Um, they're quiet. They're super quiet. Good off-road, because I've done a bit of off-road work. It's a, it is a, essentially a Land Cruiser. But uh, it's always been very well looked after. The steering wheel also is very good. Let's start it up. So it's got a reverse camera. The other thing you need to look at, this is perfectly clear. There's no scratches or anything in the Perspex. And um, which is annoying because if you get a scratch along here from someone not cleaning it properly, you can't get it out. It's got rear air conditioning. There's your diff lock, so you press that. And it's got your center differential there. It's got a sub fuel tank. It's got a fridge. The timber work is excellent. It's not like a Land Cruiser, it's not plastic, which looks like timber, it's real timber. Apparently I spoke to someone who's a Lexus enthusiast and he suggested that the timber actually it's actually Yamaha timber and it's sourced from Mount Fuji apparently but look they're a gorgeous car very reliable I have owned one previously I had a green one and I sold it with 439,000 kilometers from memory the car and that was in 2008 the car has now done six to seven hundred thousand kilometers and it's still going so if you look after this car, it's got a very, very long life ahead of it. And you know what, I really wouldn't be selling it, but um, we've bought a house and the car space is very small. And um, unfortunately this is just too big, which is why it's being sold. But if you're very fussy, I think this is a car you should come and have a look at. Because um, I think it's very good. I don't think there's any dents in this car whatsoever. As I said, there's some stone chips on the front. I think the only other blemish on the car, it's got a mark down here. That's about it. It's never had a major accident. The only insurance claim I've ever had 
was a back window, which is this window. And you can see it's a Lexus one. It was replaced with a Land Cruiser window and I simply, a Toyota window, and I said simply it wasn't good enough. Um, I want it to be a Lexus one, which, which they did. But yes, it's a shame to see this go. But um, it'd be nice to see it go to a good home. Somebody's going to look after it, as I have, and the owner before me. And uh, I really do think it represents incredible value. We just sold a white 2004 model to a lovely couple with the same kilometres. Had about 197,000 kilometres. That was also in outstanding condition. And uh, they couldn't be happier. They traded in their 80 series Land Cruiser, which we traded happily. And um, they drove it back to Queensland and were, were very happy with it. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We are the Old Timer Centre. We're located in Marrickville. We specialise in European cars, including Lexus. Thanks again for watching.